Hey everybody, welcome to the channel Queen at Heart, where we bring you Disney melanin magic. I'm your girl Janani. For those of you who are new here, hello and welcome. For those of you who've been rocking with me, hello, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get into it and open up another Bippity box. Also in this video, I have a very special announcement that I am going to be announcing towards the end of this video after I finish the unboxing. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss it. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're opening up another Bippity box and I'm super excited to open up the box. I'm not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go ahead and dive right into this January box. Here is the packaging. So this is our second Bippity box that has the regular packaging. And you guys, it's so cute. I actually took the time to really, really look at this. And they have all kinds of different things. And here is a Stormtrooper. And then they also have one of Cinderella's mice in the teacups. You have one of the little Mickey head snacks, the castle, sorcerer Mickey. So all kinds of cute things on this box. And I am gonna turn it around and uh, not show <laughs> any one of my address. You know, there's crazy people in the world here. Um, but just all kinds of other cute little things. And I just think, the box and the packaging is just super, super cute. So I just want to show you guys that. So let's go ahead and open it. So y'all know um, I have trouble <laughs> opening these flaps. It's like Gorilla Glue. Ooh, actually this side uh, came out pretty easy. So I'm opening the box right now and I'm trying to be careful because when the box came, it was covered in, you know, the plastic wrap and it said fragile. So. We got a figurine or something of some sort. But opening the box, of course, we have our packing slip, the spoiler alert. Y'all know me, the element of surprise. We're gonna be surprised. But we did get another Bippity bag. And y'all know I'm filling these bags. Y'all already know how I feel about these bags. And they're so sturdy, Bippity, like I said before. Keep doing it. So for me, y'all know me, I like to get my Mary Poppins on. She's my favorite, so I'm just gonna stick my hand in the box and see what we can find. And I'm not really finding anything small. Okay, 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 I'm fine. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so I am going to save this first item because at the end of this video, I actually have a very special announcement. So stay tuned for the end of the video for the special announcement. And then I will show what they gave me that involves that special announcement. So stick around. Okay, so let's try again. Let's get something else. Okay, okay, you know what? I'm gonna pull out this first thing right here. Oh! Do I even have to explain right now? I'm sorry about the glare, you guys. I, don't, I shouldn't have to explain this, but I will for those of you tuning in with me for the first time. Mickey Mouse, my main cheese, my main everything, especially Sorcerer Mickey. Y'all all know how I feel about Sorcerer Mickey and they got me the Sorcerer Mickey Fantasia Funko. Oh my God. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Oh my, it's so cute. Y'all like, I can't even, thank you Bippity, thank you. I, I really, I'm so, I really wanna know who curated my box. You know, usually we get like um, a little postcard, but I'm sure it's gonna be on the packaging slip. Who got me what? Okay, so. <laughs> so we got another face mask <laughs> we can't go wrong with the face masks we're going to be wearing them for a while but look you guys it's mickey making all kinds of faces that is just a too stinking cute i am loving this oh my gosh <laughs> Because we know face masks, they're going to be around for a while. <laughs> then, you guys, OMG, OMG, OMG. Look what they got me, y'all. Look at this. 
Y'all know I'm a huge Marvel fan as well. And this bag, I've been looking at this bag. I actually think Nerdy Ness have been geeking for this bag <laughs> for a minute and then they finally got it for her. And I remember seeing that like, oh my gosh, it looks even better than I imagined. Oh my gosh. And look at the inside. This is the lining. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it has like a whole bunch of zipper pockets and things. So we got that as well. And you can either hand carry it like this or you can wear it as a backpack. How freaking cool is this? Oh my gosh, I love that, I love it, I love it. Okay, so we don't have anything in the bag. The only thing I can guess that was maybe fragile was my Funko Pop. And then I'm gonna open my packing slip because I wanna see who curated this box. And who did it, who did it, who did it? Actually, you know what? It's, oh, Amanda, Amanda curated. So it seems like I'm going back and forth between Becky and Amanda. Oh my gosh, okay. So let me tell you the things that I showed you at least. Let me tell you what it was worth and then I'll get into my surprise announcement and the gift that goes along with said announcement. The Loungefly Marvel Logo Canvas Backpack, $75 value. And then the Disney uh, Mickey Mouse Expressions, the face mask, worth $8.99. And then the Funko Pop is worth $11. So let me go ahead and tell you guys my big announcement. I've been sitting on this for a little while and a couple of people in the YouTube Disney world have known about it, but now I'm about to share it with you guys. And my big announcement, drum roll please. You guys, I'm going to Disney world. That's right y'all, your girl is going to Disney world. I'm going to see Mickey. So let me show you what they got me to commemorate my trip. Y'all, they got me a Sorcerer Mickey limited release magic band. And y'all know how I feel about Sorcerer Mickey. So my very first magic band, because my very first trip to Disney World, and they got me a Sorcerer Mickey magic band. So that is my news, you guys. I am super, super excited. Your girl is going to Disney World for the very first time. This trip is only like 32 years in the making. I've been wanting to go to Disney World since I was four years old. For those of you that know me, you guys know I'm from Southern California. Disneyland is my home park. So that's always where I've been going. That's the only Disney park that I have ever been to. And you know, we really couldn't afford to take the whole family to Disney World. So it's kind of like, girl, you got Disneyland in your backyard. Stick to what you got. So I'm finally happy to say that I have been so fortunate and so blessed to be able to afford to take a vacation for me and my son. So we are going during the springtime. We will be there for Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival. So, so excited. And we will be staying for about 10 days. So we'll be there for a while. We'll be visiting all the parks. We also plan to go to Universal and then check out a water park or two since they're supposed to be open. So finger crossed that they are. I know people are probably thinking, oh, well, why would you wanna go for your first trip to Disney World? You know, 2021, we're still dealing with COVID. Uh, that was a decision that I wanted to make, but at this point, I have a Disney itch that needs to be scratched and it's need to be scratched for 32 years. I thought, why not? I know that this trip is going to be different. I'm not expecting to get the full on experience. I would be naive to think that. So I know things aren't going to be the same, but I just want to go, especially like with low crowds, just to be there, check it out, ride some rides, eat some food, get the lay of the land before things kind of turn back into normal. Those real crowds start picking up and you know, just normal life. I just think for me, and my son, because we're going together, it is a mom's son vacation. Um, it's just, it's perfect for us and it just, it works. So 
I'm super excited. If you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and uh, let me know, put them in the comments. Um, if you have any kind of advice, tips, tricks, let me know. I have been binge watching Disney Food Blog on YouTube forever now. I've been watching her for a long time, but now I'm like really watching her and taking notes. So any kind of tips, advice would be appreciated for this Disneyland girl going into a Disney World world. <laughs> so let me know. Um, of course, before the trip, I would love to do like a Q&A video, maybe even a packing video, what's in my Disney bag. Um, so all those things. So look forward to that. I'm super, super excited and I'm probably going to be beside myself when I get there and cry when I see Cinderella's Castle. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you do because I am going to be um, posting in real time my experience while I am there. I'll probably go live. And then of course, again, I will be vlogging the entire trip. So yes, the entire trip will be posted here on YouTube for you guys to come along and join me. I am so excited. Thank you all for tuning in to my Bippity unboxing and for listening to my special announcement. Until next time, you guys, I hope you all have a magical, magical day. Make sure that you like this video. It helps out the channel a lot. Make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video, especially those Disney World vlogs. You don't want to miss those. Bye, everybody.